Hi, YouTube. This is Jim Jet Seven Twenty, and this is update two on now Hurricane Arthur, which form became a hurricane this morning at five o'clock on the latest advisory, which tropical storm warnings are continued for the coast of northern part of South Carolina and hurricane watches as well, and hurricane warnings for the coast of North Carolina, where it could possibly make a landfall or just pass to what pass to the east and the tropical hurricane warning has been extended all the way to the lower part of Virginia so here's a tropical storm wind potential for the storm which pretty much 100% chance on the shore of North Carolina as well so that's there's hurricane warning also it could be hurricane Forced ones there as well. Here's the model. Some take it on shore. More of them are kind of taking it now onto the shore, and some of them are coming off. But we're going to look at the most of these models are taking it on shore, so possibly the storm could make landfall today. It could make landfall. Winds are right now 70. Its location is 340 miles southwest of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, about 190 miles to the south southwest of Cape Fair, North Carolina. Winds are 70 miles per hour and pressure is 985 millibars. Here's the latest satellite loops on Arthur. So here it is. You can see there's more red right around the center of the storm. There is more showers on this side, but there is more stronger thunderstorms right around in the center, making it strengthen into a category one hurricane. The first of the season, which you can see there's rain start, outer bands are starting to hit North Carolina. North, bottom portion of North Carolina and the coast of South Carolina and going inland. So here's the latest infrared. But you can see the storm here. The eye hasn't reappeared yet, but probably will. So I just have to see a newer picture. But you can see this again, this, the clouds going, making the stronger thunderstorms going on. The outer of the outer bands going on the shore. The infrared enhanced, which we can pretty much see almost all of Arthur's life so far, as it just started as a thunderstorm, a couple at Invest 91 into Tropical Depression 1 to a tropical storm and now a hurricane. You can see the stronger hurricane force winds in the center marked by the white. And lastly, the water vapor, where there is, again, some dry air, but it's not really affecting the storm as the storm continues to strengthen. Here's, we're going to see the surface, oops, clicked the wrong one. Here's the sea surface temperatures, right where everything's doing good for our friend, unfortunately. But the since the storm is riding the jet stream, right, and so it's right here and it's riding, getting all the warm water from the jet stream, and so it's not, it's in Arthur's favor. The wind, you can see, there you can see all the winds going around the center of the storm. 27, this is on the surface. And this is, here's the track. Again, the cone can go anywhere. The storm can pass, most likely won't go on to the rest of the east coast. But it possibly can, as you can see the cone 
goes in that direction. We can just take a look at the official map chart, which doesn't bring in there since most of the models are predicting it's going to go in there. So by 5 a.m. Thursday, where it's located, 2 a.m. Friday, it could possibly make landfall in North Carolina. 2 a.m. Saturday, the storm would be about off the shore of Massachusetts. And then it, by 2 a.m. Sunday, it is a post tropical storm have already making landfall in Nova Scotia. So it could possibly make landfall as a hurricane or as a tropical storm in this daytime from 2 a.m. Saturday to 2 a.m. Sunday. And it'll continue as a post tropical storm up into over Greenland area. So that's it up this that's it for this update on tropical storm out our um hurricane Arthur. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe until next time. Bye.